What if you knew exactly what to do in your training? Exactly what to do to progress to get to where you want to be. Exactly what to do to achieve your goals. And exactly what to do for just you. What you doing, man? Don't, don't dress up for me. This was like groundbreaking training. This is something that has never really been done. We're here to do a better job. We're going to be on a skier, we're going to be on a rower, um, we're going to be on a bike, and that changes the game considerably. Did it this past fall, it was significant, kind of changed my, my training. Dark Horse Training has created a new frontier for breaking through plateaus and defining what is possible for athletes, individuals, and professionals. So we're back at the secret lab. Yep. <laughs> Not the cave. <laughs> we're talking about dark horse training again, but this time we are going to talk about our experience with the program that we've had over the last year. Yeah. Has it, has it been a year? It's almost a year, yeah. Almost a year. Um, we're looking into going into the next round, the next level of it. We're going to talk about some of the bugs that we've found, um, some of the things that we think that we can add to anyone out there who's been doing the program to make it a little bit easier for them. Also, we want to talk about what we think this program can do for you in terms of your performance um, and you know, you know, just what you, what you want to do with your body to get to the next level, because that's really what the program's all about. Right. Well, and, and again, you know, I want to be painfully honest about this for those people that have already participated in the first round of the program, is that this was like groundbreaking training. This is something that has never really been done or approached the way that we laid it out. And to be honest with you, I think I could have done a better job. We're here to do a better job. And the, the difference was uh, we built the equations around work exclusively done on a treadmill. Hello, we're not going to be exclusively on a treadmill. We're going to be on a skier. We're going to be on a rower. Um, we're going to be on a bike. And that changes the game considerably. <clears throat> is this going to be the first time today where we actually test an athlete on all three apparatuses? Exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to literally take some athletes that have been through the program initially, seasoned CrossFit athletes. That's so cool for us to be able to have that experience to work with these athletes and actually get a look at what happens to them when they're being tested on these specific devices. That information is going to be driven home in the new program, which is going to be a total game changer. So it's like you come up with a really unique tool, and clearly, if you keep working at it, you're going to refine it. Dark Horse 2 is refined process. The battle with the fatigue is going to be won absolutely and with conviction this time around. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? I, I actually didn't feel, I've never felt like so proud of the whole program until you know, just like an hour ago when we were talking and one of the athletes, Jen Ryan, which you guys will probably get to listen to and see here soon. She's been around, I mean, since when I was first doing regionals, she's been around for a very, very long time. She's still very, very good. She's been to the cross games, you know, a couple times on a team. And she was telling me, she's like, I am absolutely different. There, I will never attack my training the same ever again. And that's an older athlete who knows their body. And like, you know, as being an athlete and getting older, there's so many little things about your body that you're still trying to learn. And when you're younger, you know, you can just add anything to the recipe and sometimes it works really, really well. Or not. But when you're older, you got to do the right thing and it's, it's got to be spot on. So yeah. it was hear, absolutely amazing. Yeah, that, to hear her, yeah. what she said was amazing. So. Well, yeah. and, I, and I spotted off on many occasions about the success a lot of the people that did the program had. Um, but having a seasoned athlete that took the leap of faith to actually say, you know what, I'm going to take a look at this program, I'm going to see if it's going to make a difference for me, and come away from it saying, man, I am not the same athlete, and I'm performing way better than I had before because I followed this program. And uh, all we're going to do now is just make it that much better for her. And she's basically, her, Jack, and, and uh, Eric are going to be the pioneers. They're, they're laying the groundwork for you guys to understand how to approach your training. It's going to be an amazing program. That's all I can tell you. Hey, MJ. 
Jen Ryan. I live in San Diego. I go to CrossFit Invictus. I compete in CrossFit. I've been doing CrossFit for just over 10 years. So um, I've been doing the Dark Horse program. I did it this past fall and uh, the, the significance of that has, has been huge. It's kind of changed my my training, first of all, I'm not doing uh, workouts twice a day, five days a week where I'm on the floor dying afterwards. That's typically just once a day now. Uh, but the part of the program that I really love is that I feel like I'm working really, um, I'm working really hard and I have a purpose behind the workout, but I'm not on the ground afterwards um, questioning what's happening. Uh, and then, you know, I just, I feel like I'm a different athlete during um, my conditioning sessions and, and training. Um, I just, I feel like I'm much more in control of the workout as opposed to the workout being in control of me. And I think that comes from just being able to pay attention to how I'm feeling during the training that I'm doing with the Dark Horse program. I can pay attention to my heart rate. I'm paying attention to how my body feels. Am I sustaining, you know, something at, at a higher level? What is my output? And and I'm correlating that now during my uh, my conditioning sessions, um, even when I'm pushing really, really hard. Again, like I just I feel like I'm very in control of it. I can manage my heart rate. I can manage my breathing. Uh, I can do high level gymnastics and weightlifting movements even when I'm tired. Um, and yes, I could do that before, but there's just a difference that I've noticed now. And, uh, and, and that's been what's been really helpful. So 100, 160 pounds of pure meat. All from the running, all from that cardio. <laughs> Just kidding. 160 minus 30. Yeah. <laughs> minus 32. One more favor. So Jen, how do you feel from that one? Um, not too terrible. I mean, that one was only like four and a half minutes long total. And like really only maybe 90 seconds of it was yeah, Real so hard. yeah, so the focus was not to concern ourselves with max because if I slam you down on all three of these pieces of equipment, your VO2 max is not going to be any different. What I wanted to see was the deviation in the threshold, where she had that metabolic turn point compared to the treadmill. And so right now, she was far and away more efficient on the treadmill than she was here. Uh, my name is Eric Carmody. I live in San Diego, California. I train at CrossFit Invictus. I'm a two times individual CrossFit Games athlete. Um, I'm here today to check out Dark Horse uh, because I'm looking for something just a little bit different than just doing CrossFit to increase like my endurance capabilities. I've done CrossFit now for 10 years and I've always been like a high uh, effort person, but you can't be high effort for eight minutes straight. You know, I can do it for only so long. And so just finding like an alternative way to train that I'm just not sure of yet. No, I'm super pumped to be here. I've never had like traditional endurance coaching at all. So I feel like I'm just gonna learn so much and I'm, I'm ready to go all in on this and see what, what, what it really can do. We're in my backyard. This is where I live. This is the backyard of the secret lab. This is my pool. These are my friends. This is my jam right here. Waiting for him to calibrate. And once he's been calibrated, we're gonna start slowly rolling into it. And I'm gonna take him over threshold. When he's over threshold, we're pulling him out. Bring him into a bit of a run. I wanna make sure that everyone that does this program has a clear understanding of how these flow cycles actually function. On the left-hand side here, what you're seeing is the equations we created for each of these functions. So for example, running is indicating that a male would subtract his age from 180 and add 15 beats per minute to achieve a predicted anaerobic threshold. A female would do the same. No difference between genders in this particular segment with running. 
However, I did indicate that if you're over 200 pounds, great likelihood is that you're only going to want to add five beats per minute to the equation here. And women, same thing, over 150 pounds. Even if you're not a games athlete and you're not going for, going for gold essentially, we all want to become better athletes, better people. And if you can correlate, uh, you know, let's say a better cardiovascular base, you're going to become a better mom, better parent, better, better business person, better whatever it is. kind of an experience for you guys you never did this before but this for me was massive because the opportunity to get athletes to have a comparative analysis of effort based on task is really a big deal for me and uh, rather than uh, speculating as to what the energy system is doing relative to task we put it to task and we were able to see what a young fit girl, how do you like the young part? Yeah. <laughs> young fit girl gets gets out of the work here compared to a big fit guy uh, and a guy from Kansas City. You know, that's kind of a culmination of all those things exactly. Um, but um, what happens when you're on that skier versus what happens when you're on this Concept 2 rower? What happens when you're running? The energy cost is very different. The VO2 max are very, very similar as we found as I knew it would be. But, uh, I just think that now Dark Horse 2 is going to be such a cool program because it isn't, any idiot can just throw down and just beat themselves to death. And it doesn't take uh, any particular skill or talent to make that work. Or, or excuse me, to expose themselves to that kind of work. It's not going to work, right? Beating your head against the ground always reveals what it feels like to beat your head against the ground. It doesn't teach you anything. Now we know how to manipulate and very, very carefully uh, work the energy systems to a positive end. And so Dark Horse 2 is going to have that element in play. It's going to be about uh, specifically what a woman would do if she was lesser in stature versus a bigger girl um, on whatever piece of equipment. And the same applies to men. So we're going to take into account a lot of different variables and really, from a distance, be able to hone in. Absent the ability to do a clinical assessment like we just did, somebody at home not being able to get to, to the secret lab can get this worked out based on the data we're going to provide. Very, very, very exciting.